Hey guys, I hope you guys had a successful, profitable, happy 2016. Um, I know we did. It was it was a good year. It was a lot of learning and trial and error and mistakes and losing money and making money and headaches and it, it was ups and downs. So it was a very interesting year, but at the end of the day, um, overall we did well. We made money. Um, we built on our existing skill sets by learning new things. Uh, I think our biggest or our biggest success of 2016 was building our network. Um, we attended, it felt like we attended 82 different conferences. I know we only attended a, a handful, but we really, I, I feel like we really solidified our network with a, a lot of great people. And I think that was probably our biggest win of 2016. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. So this video, we're, we're looking forward to 2017, and one thing, I, I'm a planner junkie, I, notebooks, planners, trying to stay organized, um, definitely the type A personality that, that everything's got an order and we, we, we're going to move forward with our order, and, and I love to be organized, I'm kind of crazy that way. But one thing I found is most planners are, are pretty basic. Like, there's a calendar here you can write what you want to do on them so I decided to create my own planner for me um, and maybe for some of you so I printed it out at Staples um, and I'm gonna share it with you guys so one of the things I included in the planner let's see if you guys can see here I think it might be backwards on the video we'll find out so I have the three to six month um, goals and the six to twelve month goals uh, we hear a lot about goal setting, and one of the things I'm really good at is setting the goal. I'm not so good at revisiting the goal as often as I need to. So a lot of times I get six months into working on a goal just to realize I actually kind of forgot what the goal was. So every quarter in this planner, there's your short-term goals and your long-term goals. Um, so you're constantly reminded at least once a quarter to revisit those goals. Um, and then you're, you've got your general monthly, your monthly calendar. Um, looks pretty basic. The one thing that's different in this planner is you've got your active goals here at the top. Um, so they're always fresh in your mind. Um, here's a place just to write notes. And I also have, because it's an e-commerce planner, your 2016 sales. Um, so you always have a you can always easily look at what were your sales for the month last year. Let's face it, we're always trying to grow our businesses. Um, these are your weekly planner pages. So in here we have, again, your active goals. What are you working toward? Um, orders placed. I'm really bad at keeping track of my orders. So here's a place that they'll just be front and center. So if I place an order, I can put who I ordered from in the total. So I always have kind of a tally of, of, am I buying enough inventory to hit my projected sales goals? Um, bills that are due. So earlier in my career, um, I would get late fees. I'd forget to pay a bill. It would just slip past me. So this, this helps just knowing what bills are due that week. Um, there is a spot here. I, I'm a quote junkie. I love inspirational quotes, and I know a lot of people do. But there's just a little spot that if, if you've read something that inspired you to write it in there. Um, and I'm a mom and I cook dinner and I, I plan meals and so I included a spot down here at the bottom to write down what are we having for breakfast, lunch, or dinner um, just to try and be a little bit more intentional uh, with my life. It helps me. Chaos, chaos causes stress for me. Um, and then up here at the top for every single day there is a spot for priorities. Um, no more than three daily priorities should be happening, so you can record those there. Um, and that's on every week. So every day you should have a few priorities that you're working on, but no more than three. These are like the things you absolutely have to get done that day to move your, your business forward. My son just walked into the office. Uh, both of our cats are in here, so he's coming in to snuggle. Um, and that's basically the planner. It's really, really simple. Oh, and at the bottom of every day is your 2016 sales. So you can go through at the beginning of the month um, in your 
in your um, if you're an Amazon seller it's in your business reports or if you're an eBay seller but you can write down what your sales were a year ago so that way you have an idea um, of, of where they need to be if you want if you're working on growth or acceleration um, so here's the deal the quarterly planner pages I'm gonna make those available to anyone who wants them there will be a link down in the notes below so if all you want is to work on goal setting um, you can print out the quarterly planner pages absolutely free so just all I ask for is an email address and we'll, we'll you'll have a download for those hey my son got a little noisy so I'm back um, so what was I saying the planner pages the quarterly planner pages are absolutely free just uh, pop your email in there and those are for you and then if you want the entire planner um, there will be a link to that. I'm going to make it super cheap, probably around seven bucks, and I'll include instructions. Um, I just printed this at Staples. It was pretty easy. Um, so the file for the entire planner, all you have to do is upload that to a local print shop and, and specify how you want it printed. I printed it in black and white because I'm, I'm frugal, I'm cheap, I don't care about the color pages. Um, but you can just print this out at a local print shop or print it yourself and, and put it in a three ring binder. Um, but I think planning your year, planning your week, planning your days, just being very intentional with your time um, is what will help you be successful in the new year. I, am, I know that when I am intentional with what I need to get done, I get more done. If I don't write it down, it doesn't happen. So this was a planner I designed for me, and if it will benefit you, please, please pick it up and, and use it for yourself. And I wish you nothing but a happy, healthy, and prosperous 2017. Thanks for watching.